I'm Richard from Cube Speed. In this episode, we're going to have a look at our short shifter to suit the Toyota Sora Z30 and also the Lexus SC300 with either a W58 or R154 gearbox uh, with the direct mount style shifter housing. Uh, so with our shifter, um, it's going to shorten up your shifter throw by about 50%, uh, which is a huge improvement over the very vague and very long throws of that uh, standard factory shifter. It also makes your shifting feel more direct and more precise and overall just more enjoyable than using your factory shifter. Um, yeah, so a couple of details with our, with our shifter are. So one is it's got a hardened steel shaft. It's also got a billet aluminium housing. It has, uh, it's been pre-installed uh, with heavy duty uh, shifter bushings. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is just have a look at installing this in, onto a gearbox just to show you how easy it is. We'll be back with you soon. Uh, so now we're just going to move on with just removing your factory shifter. Uh, so before you get started, just make sure that your handbrake's on and your car's in neutral. And then just need to proceed just with removing your gear knob, uh, your gear lever boot, uh, the access panel in your console, and then also the seal uh, between the uh, gear lever and the uh, transmission tunnel. So once you've done that, uh, you'll be able to see these four hold down bolts which uh, secure the shifter onto the uh, shifter housing here. Uh, so we just need to undo these and we'll just speed through this process. Okay, so once you've got all the bolts removed, you can just remove the shifter lever. So just like so. And then we're gonna work, move on to uh, installing a new shifter. Okay, so we've removed those retaining nuts. Uh, from the bottom of the hold down bolts on the shifter there. I've also pre-installed the shifter with the cube speed built aluminium gear knob as well. Uh, so just before we uh, uh, go forward and install the shifter with these hold down bolts, I uh, just need to use uh, some Loctite or some thread locker on there just to help prevent them from ever unwinding or working loose. Uh, so now we're just going to install the shifter. So with this bush, uh, just to line it up, Inside the uh, inside the shifter housing there it does help to use a screwdriver just to guide that bush in Okay, so we've got that in nice and easily So now you just need to do these uh, Hold down bolts up just finger tight to start off with So you just got to press against uh, the top plate just with the other hand against the spring. Okay, so now we're just going to uh, speed up uh, just with the uh, ratcheting down process. Okay, so with these hold down bolts, they don't need to be super tight. If you just do them, do them down quite firmly. And if you just work through them just in a crisscross pattern just to make sure they're nice and evenly torqued down. Okay, so now that's all together, we can just try that out. And wow, those shifts are super short and super precise, very nice. So now that all that remains to be done is just uh, put your car back to get together again. Uh, take it for a drive, shift some gears, have a lot of fun, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.